it's Sarah. I'm back, guys. I had to go to Michael's this morning. I happened to look at their website, and the green, which was all the stuff I wanted to get, <laughs> wasn't on sale last week. So I got it on sale this week. So I think the, the red, green, brown, blue, like all the different labels, I think, pretty much all the colors, were $2.99 a strand. And some of them go up to, I think the greens are like either $5.99 or $7.99. So, and they were definitely beads that I wanted in my stash. So um, I did it. I just want to share what I got. I have four lava beads in my hand that I just want to put down because I'm going to remake. I got a few questions. Matt, don't get her stirred up, please. What's that? Don't get her turned up. Okay. Anyway. Oh, this is going to be a bead box or a bead bracelet box. These are some of the ones that I've made. And I was saying, I think I was saying on my live that I'm going to wear one. And if anyone compliments me on my bracelets, which you can't even see them right now, but in the summer, <laughs> um, I'm just going to give them one. Um, I think as a random act of kindness. Uh, so let me share what I got. Let me come down a little bit. So these metal beads, let me start with that because I want to see what it says. It says Lotus Antique Silver Plated, okay? So what I'm finding, sometimes when you get these metal beads at the craft store, and oh, by the way, I took off my fake nails. I've been using these fake nails in this winter, and I've loved them. They're awesome, but I think I just need to give my nails a break, but they're terrible, you guys. So I'm so sorry. I try to keep them as neat as I can, but they're just really, they need to grow a little bit. They need some fresh air. So I'm going to keep, just leave them natural. Anyway, what I notice is not all charm, like metal charm type material is the same. Some of it um, holds up real well and some does not. Some turns and, and you know, um, I personally don't like that. I mean, I've bought, I have sterling silver. Like, this is all sterling silver, these letters, and this heart happens to be sterling silver. But, like, this peace sign is not, these little flowers are not. It's this stuff. So I am wearing it myself, like this little angel wings and the, you know. Um, these are not. I don't think so, although they could be plated. So this says see what it says silver plated uh, silver plated so I'm thinking these and sometimes I know that rhodium something to do with rhodium so let's see if this says silver plated silver plated all right let me just show you so that being said I went out and I got all these and we'll see how they hold up silver plated okay all of these seem to be silver plated I got a few more sunstone and amethyst. I'm going to remake my amethyst bracelet because I got these turtles. Let me start there. OMG. So I shared a little bit on the live and they're two-sided, these little sea turtles. Like I, I would say that's the bottom and that's the top, but they're so cute. And then look what else. Oh, little baby ones that I can use as spacers because I like to, when I make the bracelet, I have a focal point then I'll use spacer. So now I don't know if I'll put, just fill it with turtles, but I'll just put a little turtle in some of them. And I also got owls because in the program in Al-Anon, they talk about wisdom in the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And we all know that the owl represents wisdom for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm going to put a little owl on the ones that I'm going to make for the AA people. Just a little hidden owl thing to make, you know, so that they know. Um, I want to look up turtle, though. I think, I don't know if I shared it on my live, but um, turtle. T-U-R-T-L-E represents. It's a symbol present in many tales, legends, cultures, and movies as it is a personification of patience and wisdom. It's necessary to embrace 
and in our daily lives. Without the turtle energy, we would be incapable of achieving great things. So let's see how, let's see. It's a sacred figure in Native American belief. It symbolizes Mother Earth, equivalent to the good health and eternal life. So lots of good stuff. Um, fertility, uh, peaceful walk on this earth. It represents the path we take as we embark on our journey. So, I don't know. It, it's persistence, right? Patience. Uh, it's a peacemaker and the sacred feminine. So, Mother Earth. You know, it, it's just something about being present, you know? And I just love the symbolism with it. So, same as the lotus flower. I got some lotus flowers to be like the centerpiece. So, on my rose quartz bracelet, I have lava beads that you can add your essential oils to. But I just put a heart and I got some more of those because I had only like one or two. And I like them. I mean, they're a little, like the etching isn't as clean. You know what I mean? So, they're not perfect. But... They are silver plated. So, and I wear, I don't take these off when I wash my hands or whatever. Like, I mean, it just stays on me. And I mean, it's holding up. So far, so good. The lotus flower, um, I could just change it up. They grow in mud. And, and that's the, the whole thing behind the lotus flower is it, you know, maybe you start it in the mud and then you end up this beautiful flower. So it's the transitions. The butterfly is, of course, the metamorphosis of the butterfly. Um, which is, I'm just a work in progress, so I can relate to that. Talk about the turtles and the owls. I got the Hamsa hand, which is just a really cool symbol representing the hand of God. Uh, I happen to have, I made myself a cross, which I love. This is Howlite, and I put a little angel on the back that I made. Um, and I think I just have, this is just a flower, but like, why don't I put... I could put little turtles, a turtle turtle, you know. I'm going to keep these. I think I might change and put a butterfly on here. Um, that's all I would change about these three. But my amethyst one, okay, what else did I get? Flowers. These just were super cool. I See, I have to be attracted to it. And would you stop? Um, but I really liked these. They're just super simple. But this is something, I mean, I could use those for spacers and then one for the middle. Just representing earth, nature. Um, and then these are wonderful little spacer beads. These flowers, and they stay shiny. And they're very clean looking. Like, they don't look dirty. But I think I have, here, they're on my peace sign one. I put little flowers, and then I put one in the back. So I think I'll put, like, a little owl in the back of some of these, you know, just as like a little hidden extra. Um, and then I should have gotten more, but I didn't. These are the, these are um, a green label too, and I, but I had plenty. One, two, three. I still have seven of these butterflies, um, which I really love. Like I said, for the um, metamorphosis, I bought more of the crosses. These were a green label too, but I just got them in white because I really like that clean look. I think I have... I cleaned out all of my bead bins, well, three of them, <laughs> I have many more, and just kind of organized into what I'm using these days. I have some other crosses and colors. I have, I found another peace sign, I have an orange peace sign, see I made it dangle. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I also found these sun, they're no, actually not suns, they're stars with a face that I've had forever. So I just went through and dug out some things that kind of have, have a little bit of a more spiritual vibe to them. So this is all cleaned out. I'm going to put all this in here. Here's my peace signs, which I love, um, and some of the butterflies that I found downstairs. Um, but I'm going to come back and I'm going to make a bracelet with you guys um, using stretchy cord and some of these semi-precious beads that I have in some of these findings. Um, just because I had a couple questions about how do I hide my knot, and I just want to talk a little bit about how I do it, and so I will be back. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.